In President Trump's planned rally in Portsmouth Saturday, Democrats see a preventable pandemic calamity. State Party Chair Ray Buckley blames Governor Chris Sununu, saying, quote, it is unacceptable during a national crisis to put the lives and livelihoods of your constituents at risk for purely partisan reasons. The governor says that's just politics, but he knows some Granite Staters may be anxious. It's a presidential year. It's a campaign year. We're going through a pandemic. I understand a lot of the anxieties uh, that folks may have uh, around any large gathering. We heard similar uh, concerns over the Black Lives Matter protests that happened and up to a thousand people, you know, marching down the street in Manchester. And uh, that went off very, very well. Uh, we haven't had any cases so far directly linked to large gatherings. It doesn't mean we can't or we won't, um, but we really keep that elevated message where I think it, it needs to be. Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the president held a rally last month, is now seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases, which the local public health director says is likely connected to large gathering events. The Trump campaign, already on the ground in New Hampshire, is pushing back. What the White House has said on this is that they don't have any data that supports that. Um, there have been a number of large gatherings, but we put health and safety first. The campaign is highlighting its efforts to make this event as safe as possible. And even top White House advisors are saying the president's supporters should consider their own health first. If they don't feel comfortable to go at all, they should not. And I think that's a lesson that the president's campaign probably learned from Tulsa, that there are people who support the president, will be voting for him, will be supporting him, but who don't feel comfortable going to rally because they may have underlying comorbidities. They may be of a certain age. The potential impact to public health will be closely watched in the weeks ahead. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.